Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's session, we will see how to change yarn service related prop configuration. So in order to change or to view the configuration properties about the yarn, you have to first log into the Ambari console, go to the services, select the yarn and go to the config section. In the config section, you will be able to see setting tab and the advanced tab. Make sure you are using yarn default as a, a group. In the setting tab, suppose you want to increase the heap size or the container size, you have that visibility. So you can use, uh, there is edit button, uh, you can make it as final, you can use the recommended, uh, set the recommended value. Similarly, we have the CPU related properties for the node, container and CPU isolation. If you want to enable the isolation for the CPU, you can do that using this. We are not going to change any property for now, but these are the properties where you can change. We can have the memory related and CPU related properties inside the setting. In the advanced setting, you need to select the advanced and go to the, you will find the resource manager, node manager related properties and also you'll find the other properties resource manager related properties are resource manager that is node 1 resource manager java heap size 1024 mb yarn ACL enable right now it is not enable yarn admin ACL it is yarn enable log aggregation that is enabled the next properties are node manager there are so many node manager related properties we have you have the node manager log properties also you can change this log properties location add this uh, in the using the ambari tool then we have the application timeline server there are associated property to that then we have general that is yarn java hip size you can if you want to increase the java hip size for the yarn you can increase the java hip size here fault tolerance it's mostly the timeout related uh, or the how long the current request is going to wait those properties are available then we have the isolation level if you want to do the isolation then we have the scheduler advanced yarn environment advanced yarn log 4j advanced yarn site and custom yarn site for example if you want to add the custom property you have to just click the add button one pop-up will come where you have to provide the key and the value as like we did in the previous environment for the HDFS service. So these are the basic properties and we have not updated any any property in this uh, section but we have the opportunity to do, to do it. Um, once you do any property change you will get one uh, once you do the property change and they save that a warning message will come at the top and it will ask us to see uh, to restart the corresponding services once you click that restart the services will start the affected services will start and the change will be reflected accordingly so this is regarding how to change the configuration properties for the yarn service so in upcoming session we will see the command tool for the yarn and how to use the command for the yarn for now, thank you for watching the video. You can subscribe my channel for more interesting updates for the Hadoop. Thank you and have a nice time.